Welcome back everyone to Photography by Harrison. You know the last time we met, I brought out my inner child, I planned out in the lease. But guess what? We're still going to have me bringing out my inner child, but this time we're going to do some slow motion fun with items you might find around your house or items I found around my house. And some of the items are a miniature shrunken, Texas Longhorn, some tennis balls, some toned soap, some milk, and you ask why do I have milk? Because I also have the Gat Milk race cars. They're going to be filming them in slow motion. And one other thing we're going to have in slow motion, some ice cubes. But what we're going to do this time, instead of just showing you them going in the water in slow motion, with the help of the Olympus TG6, we're going to have it underneath the water so you can see how it looks when it hits the water and goes underneath the water. And before I forget about it, if you do have an Olympus TG6, one of the most important things you can buy is this little lens cap to help protect your lens. Now, there's three ways you can buy it. You can buy it on, from Olympus for $49.95. You can buy it from B&H or Anorometer for $39.95. Or you can do well, like what I did. I went online and bought it for $13. It's your choice, your money. I'm just giving you those three options. That being said, I'll see you on the other side of this high speed slow motion fun. Tennis balls dropped in the water in slow motion is cool, but tennis balls dropping in the water, being photographed from underneath the water, might just be a little bit cooler. Well, I think it is. What do you think? To some people, this is just ice cubes falling in the water, but if you use the imagination you had when you was a little child, they become giant glaciers tumbling into the ocean. Now, you might have two models of the Gat Milk race cars, and yes, dropping them in the water is crazy. Even dropping them in the water in slow motion is crazy, but you got to admit, it looks cool in slow motion, and actually really, and really neat when you're underneath the water seeing them coming down. Of course, if you're going to drop the Gat Milk race cars into water in slow motion, it's only natural you follow up the race cars and drop them into the water in slow motion, but of course, milk. You might not have a friend who's giving you a miniature frozen Texas Longhorn, so find something neat around your house and drop it into the water. Does it make sense? Of course not, but it looks cool in slow motion, above and under the water. I know you have a bar of soap around the house. What's your favorite? The one I'm using is Tone. So yes, yeah, it's just as foolish dropping it in the water in slow motion, but it does look cool. Like I said, above. Uh, underneath the water. Now, what I want you to do, grab some of the props around your house and break out your inner child and have some slow motion fun. And if you do have an underwater camera, whether it's the TG6 or the Nikon or CNC, whatever other underwater camera you have, add it to the, to the mix because yes, it's cool seeing the objects hitting the water from above, but looking at them from the water, looking up, sometimes adds a different perspective. If you like what you see, go down below and leave a comment. And the reason I ask you to leave a comment, because it's positive, that motivates me to go out and do more videos. And of course, if it's negative, it's more important you leave a comment, because that's when I know what I'm doing wrong. And that also motivates me even more to go out and do more content so you'll like them the next time. Because you know I say it all the time, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along on my photographic journeys and through my imagination and reliving my childhood. With that being said, I will see you next time.